All right, we'll start with Mark Murphy. Hey, Brad. When you when you came aboard was right when the Kevin Garnett era had ended for this organization. Just what are your memories of what he had meant to the organization you picked up? Well, first of all, Kevin and Kevin and I are in the same high school class. So the first time I saw Kevin was in an AAU tournament in a court next to me. And when he walked out on that court and I watched him running up and down the court, I was like, Oh my goodness. It was the best, it was the best kid in our class, obviously. And um, I had never seen anybody that that was that mobile, that energetic um, and that talented um, in our class, at least. So that, you know, been following him ever since, obviously, through his Minnesota years. And when he came to Boston, I think it's well documented. What he did was more than how he played. Um, his energy, his relentlessness, his demanding of excellence across the board from his team. Um, you know, everybody that um, talks about those teams obviously talks about all the talent they had but that he was the um, spiritual guy that put them over the top every single day. And um, the way that he led, the, the emotion that he played with, the care factor, all that stuff. Accepting a head coaching job five days after you trade a guy like that probably isn't the smartest thing in the world, but um, I couldn't be more of a fan. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad to have gotten a chance to, um, coach against him. I don't know him great, but man, does he have a great reputation in our building. John Corrales. Brad, obviously a lot of guys are going to get opportunities today that maybe hadn't got extended opportunities. What, what can be earned in this next couple of games? Well, I think you're always, you're always working towards earning something. And, and what it is, is John, is that that moment of trust in a big moment coming up. Right. So, you know, I, I was actually talking to Romeo yesterday, who's been through, you know, a really tough year. He had surgery on his wrist. He didn't come back for the first 50 plus games. Then he had COVID and then he, he's never gotten into any rhythm or anything like that. And at the same time, he is a guy that if you need to, should be able to defend any number of different guys on the opposing team and utilize some of his strengths on offense a little bit better than we have. And I think that, you know, those are the kinds of things you're looking for in these last two games. Um, you know, I've told the story several times when I was coaching in college, you know, we had guys that didn't play for a month and they played in the elite eight game. And they're a big reason why we went to the final four. Like you're always preparing. There's always an opportunity. There's always a chance to impress upon your coaches and your team, what you can do in that moment. Adam Himmelsbach. Hey, Brad, there's obviously a lot of guys out today. Uh, is this is this more kind of bumps and bruises that are taking a day? Is there anything um, that you were concerned about heading into next week? And in particular, where are things at with Rob? Um, Rob went through part of our practice yesterday um, and looked pretty good. I think the, the obvious thing with Rob is the, the least amount of days that you put a lot of weight on it and a lot of pounding on it, the better. So that's why he'll be out both these games. He did not make the trip. Kimba did not make the trip. Um, I talked to him about what he wanted to do, you know, and Tatum and Fournier in particular thought it was important for them to play today, to feel good about, um, you know, where they are, um, and the rhythm that they have going into next week. Um, Marcus Smart still is a little dinged up from that bruise. Uh, and then Tristan has been battling that pec strain. So um, he practiced yesterday as well, but very light. So he's um, a guy that we also needed to sit. So he's not on the trip either. Marcus, Tristan, Kimba, and Rob are not here. Keith Smith. 
Hey, Brad, with all those guys out, and I know you just said guys will get opportunities, where is Jabari Parker at right now as far as getting up to speed with you guys? Yeah, he'll get an opportunity this weekend. I think it's a lot like Romeo. Like, you know, you 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 get two great opportunities to put that put that thought into your team and coaches' minds, right? Um, and I think that, you know, he obviously um, is a guy that, you know, in the right scenario against the right matchups can really score the ball. Um, and we may need that moving forward. And so he'll get a big opportunity this weekend. Final question for Coach Mark D'Amico. Hey, Coach, I, I know you spoke on KG, uh, but quite the Hall of Fame class going in today. Just what, what are your thoughts on this this class in general with all these pretty incredible names attached to each other? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a it's a special class. Uh, they all are, obviously, every year. But, but getting a chance to um, know, learn all I've learned about KG, coach against him, coach against – um Kobe and obviously the unbelievable respect we all have for him and the great sadness that we all share that he doesn't get a chance to live this moment today um Tim Duncan getting a chance to coach against him again another guy that's basically my age that you watched grow up and play and become one of the great players to ever play and a true champion and a and a guy that um you can reference to young players about what it's like to lead with humility um, and then, you know, I've got two friends going in, you know, people that I think are like really good friends and people that I've um, got a chance to watch up close. And that's Tamika Catchings, who in Indianapolis had an incredible run with the fever and um, has come out to Boston on a couple of our um, retreats and things that we do. And she's an incredible person, um, the way that she not only impacts the game, but her community. And then I don't know how many people in Boston know, but um, Barbara Stevens is about as good as it gets. She also spent every summer with us for a couple of days at our um, coaching get togethers and, um, you know, thousand wins at Bentley. I went and watched her practice um, one of my first years here because I was so intrigued by um, her and her thought process and the way that she coached. Um, so it's going to be a really fun day to watch. It's going to be emotional to watch Kobe's tributes. It's going to be fun um, to watch the others. Um, but, you know, it's fun for me to see Barbara Stevens standing next to Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. That, that, that means a lot to, to see that she got um, honored with that as well. All right. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach.